Hello, my name is Chris Bonpastori, a technical support senior analyst with Quest. In this video, we will cover Desktop Authority's validation logic. In order for the profiles and configuration elements to be processed for users or computers, Desktop Authority must qualify whether a setting should be applied to the client. To do this, a set of rules is created for every profile and configuration element within the manager. A set of rules which includes the definition of connection types, class types, operating systems, and many others is called validation logic. During the log on, log off, startup shutdown, refresh, or custom schedules, the validation logic of each profile is inspected. If the validation logic matches the client environment, the profile is marked for processing. Once each profile's validation logic is evaluated, the validation logic for all configuration elements in the marked profile are evaluated. When complete, the resulting qualified configuration elements are executed. It is important to keep in mind that not all configuration elements will be executed on a client just because its profile passes the validation logic test. This is due to the secondary validation logic that is provided on each individual configuration elements. Each element you create has its own validation logic. There are two validation logic tabs on profiles, validation logic and default validation logic. These two different tabs are often a source of confusion when new to configuring Desktop Authority's validation logic. The validation logic tab is used to actually configure the rules that will be used for the profile. The default validation logic tab is used to pre-configure the validation logic of any new element that is created within a profile. The default validation logic tab only exists on profiles. To configure validation logic, Use the boxes on the standard rules tab to define the specific rules for class, operating systems, connection types, timing, virtualization, platform, and network connection that the profile or element will apply to. Also on this tab is a checkbox to disable the profile regardless of validation or disable this element depending on the location. Use this checkbox to temporarily disable the selected configuration from executing. Clearing the box will re-enable the configuration setting. Each section under standard rules must have at least one box checked. If any section is left completely unchecked, then the element or profile will effectively be disabled. The target of the profile or element will always be defined by one of the options offered in each section. When a more granular rule is needed, use the Validation Logic Rules tab. In the Validation Logic Rules tab, multiple Validation Logic rules can be added to the Validation Rules list. Validation logic creates a rule statement using operators and values that will be reduced to an eventual true or false answer. Boolean logic is used between each of the rules to tie each rule together. If, or, and, and not can be used to define a very specific rule. To get more in-depth information about the use of validation logic operators, view the hyperlinked article in the accompanying KB. If a configuration element has no validation logic rules defined and it passes the standard validation test, the configuration element will automatically be processed on the client. Leaving validation logic rules blank or not configuring it means there are no additional restrictions you want to apply and the element will validate as long as the standard rules apply. To get an in-depth breakdown of each validation logic type and how to configure it, view Desktop Authority's Administrator Guide. Once the validation logic is configured the way you want, save it and replicate the changes. This concludes this video. To learn more about Desktop Authority, visit support.quest.com forward slash desktop authority.